Howdy, homesteaders. I'm going to take care of some things outside. It is a beautiful Saturday. Uh, I'm going to try to take care of that pile of pallets that I'm never going to use. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and burn them. And also take care of these briars that are over there, a big patch of briars. Uh, not really fond of having them on the property, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them and burn them down. And you know, uh, this is a Saturday, and you know, being a Saturday, you know, you're kind of tempted to, well, you know, I just want to relax, uh, I just want to not do anything, and you know, I do set aside some time on Saturday to relax a little bit, uh, but sometimes, you know, uh, this is the best day of the week for me to get things done, and it does, it does remind me of a Bible verse, and a Bible verse says that he that tilleth his own land shall have plenty of bread. Uh, but he that follows after vain persons shall have poverty enough. And uh, basically what that means is that if you're active, doing things, you're going to get a good result. If all you're going to do is think about stuff and talk about stuff, but not actually doing anything, uh, well, you're not going to have anything. And that's just the way it comes down to. So uh, if we're going to have a homestead, if we're going to get anything done, we have to get out and do it. Come back in here and get some more of this cardboard. And I pick up some of this cardboard and take it out there and I'm going to go ahead and start a fire. Here's my RV that I lived in for up to three years, I believe it was. And that was an interesting uh, time of my life. Uh, but now it is a storage shed. keep stuff in here. Hopefully there's no critters in here to deal with. Every time I come in here, I always think that there's going to be snakes in here. So I am definitely keeping my eyes open. So far I haven't had any issues. Let's see here. Not seeing what I'm supposed to be looking for. Here they are. These are fire starters. <laughs> taken some of the pallet wood and made like a little column right here and I'm gonna fill that full of cardboard and set it on fire that should be enough to get this thing started done here is I've filled up that column at least on this side of it with cardboard uh, try to create air cavities uh, making some boxes uh, creating those air cavities is important I also put a couple boxes here at the bottom I kind of built the cardboard all the way up the front and I believe I'm gonna go ahead and start the fire down here and let that burn its way up and into that then hopefully it'll burn hot enough to catch these pallets on fire uh, that fire 
start it up with. Also got my garden hose on standby in case I need to hose it down. Those are the tomato plants. Those are the gold medals. The orange tomatoes. And these are the mortgage lifters. Looking pretty hardy. Pretty good tomato plants. some growth down here here's some peppers now these are still struggling these plants are struggling I'm still kind of holding out for them because I do see those little tiny green leaves and some of them, like, uh, see, I think it's this one here. This one here has actually sprung back. So I'm hoping that uh, some of them will spring back like that and catch back up. I don't have too much hope for these two. Uh, but whatever I can get is something that I can get. So I'm going to keep growing them until it's just obvious that they're not going to go anywhere. I want to give them every chance they can get.